So I have a bunch of albums here and uh, I've went through and converted all of them into just one big old mp3. Not all of them together, but each album has an mp3 with the A and B side on it. So it's one single mp3 and I have that in a different video, uh, which I'll post to. But uh, this video is specifically about um, breaking out all the songs, tagging them without having to type all the song information in um, the quickest way possible with the least effort involved. So that's what I'm going to try to show you. Um, this is I've done a bunch of albums and kind of figured out this is the fastest way I can do it without spending a lot of time in doing it. So um, let me just give you an example of an album here and uh, and I'll go through my process and show you what uh, software tools I use. They're all free. I haven't paid um, for anything um, software wise so it's uh, I think it's uh, kind of available to everyone. So anyway, um, so I'm going to take this album and I uh, and, and go through the process of splitting and tagging it out for you. Um, so a lot of times there's a number on the album and uh, that, w that makes it really easy. So I what I want to do is go basically and make a file that comp contains all the split points and song titles and just so it'll do it more or less automatically for me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire that up here. Um, I'm going to fire up a browser because I use a site called Discogs. Makes it pretty easy. Take this number, so DL seven four six nine three. Let's search for that. See if it comes. So, yeah, it comes up for that. I did it before. Um, so, what you want to look for is that all the song titles are there, all the information's there, that the all the the length of the song information's there. It makes it a lot easier to. Um, make it work in the other program. So the first thing I tend to do is um, I'll save off this album art because I, I just want to make it very easy. Doesn't matter what you call it, Bye Bye Blues, whatever. So I've saved off the album art in front. Um, and uh, the second thing I do then is I'm looking for this R number here in the corner. This is the, the number I really want to grab because that makes it easy within the program I use to create the Q file. So this program called DQ, D-C-U-E, um, is what I use. Clear screen here. And it's really easy to use. So the format is D-C-U-E then R equals, and then we're, I'm going to paste in that number that I grabbed off the Discog site and take off that bracket and the R. And then we just make an output file. So I'll call it by, by blues.cue. So it actually has done what it needed to do already and it's gone out to the site. And uh, so let me just show you what, um, so here it went out and grabbed that all that information, the name of the album, each audio track, and how long it was. So that's that's really neat. It did it already. No work on my part except for just naming a file and, and grabbing that number. So now I'm going to show you basically how to automatically import that import that file into a program. And I use a program called MP3 SPLT GTK. So, big mouthful, but anyway, it takes an MP3 file, which I've made um, using this album, just a one big old MP3 file, and ingests that Q file that I just made and will tag and split it up more or less automatically for me. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to load that file. I'm going to add import split points from file. So let's look. There's the byebyeblues.q file that I just created. And I'm going to view the split points. And there they all are. So it's already in there, information ready to go. 
Now the next step is I'm going to import that big MP3 file that I made. Um, so I'm going to open that. So now this is where this program is a little non-intuitive, but it, once you use it once or twice, it, it becomes second nature. But it doesn't look like anything's happened. But in order to do this, well, what I do is hit the play button, and then I hit the pause button. So it doesn't really play, but it, it starts analyzing that whole MP3 album. And make sure that you have this amplitude wave um, option checked because that is uh, how I do it in order to split the file. So, wow, okay, so it looks really good. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. Um, and if you right click, so you right click and you can drag that file um, smaller or larger, and I, that, I usually do it larger so I can see exactly where, where in, the, in the file is the division between songs. And all I need to do is adjust it slightly to be right where it should be. Now, based on how you record the main LP, you might have, you know, gotten a little more dead silence at the start or the end of the album and so on. So that's where this just minor adjustment here comes into play. But I'm still, you know, it does it all for me. You'll see. It'll tag the, the, the songs and split them all out. And, really neat. And you can tell it's really easy to see where the division is between songs and I'm just making minor adjustments to where the the, the Q file thought the song splits should be. And that's my whole goal is to really make this fairly simple. Okay, so at this point I've adjusted all my split points and the only thing left to do is, oh, let me show you one other thing. Um, there is a preferences area within this application and then usually I create a, uh, I selected a, a directory for my output where it's gonna save these split files at. So right now I have a directory called done. So all I'm gonna do is go file, split and at the bottom of the screen you'll see it just split out that into all the different songs so there it did it split out all 12 songs and that's all I need to do within this program I'm going to close the program out I'm pretty much done at this point and I'll go into the done program and so here we have it um, all the songs titled track numbers um, it's all there all done without me having to type all those songs and they take forever and I know I you know I'm not the best typist so anyway so what I do after that in order to get the album art encoded in it and it really depends on what program you use but I'm gonna just do um, I'm gonna make a folder And then I usually put a folder. I just like keeping it organized. So I have a folder. So I'm going to take all these songs and just move them into that folder. You don't have to do this step, honestly, but anyway, I, I like doing that. So now I'm going to um, take this and I'm going to copy it into my music folder. Um, so let me just copy it in here. So then at this point, um, you can fire up uh, whatever music program you usually use. And now I'm just using Windows Media Player because that's probably the most common if you're using a PC. But um, it's really easy to, um, to uh, to uh, put the artwork on there. I'm going to show you that. So here I have, uh, there's the out artwork that I downloaded. It might take a second. 
So it might take a second um, to pick up that I've added that uh, that folder in here, but that, it's fine. I'm gonna just let it, okay, update complete. So let me type in Bert. There you go, Bye Bye Blues. Um, so there's all the songs, it's already showing up. I'm gonna, all I do is grab that album art and just drag it on top. And hey, there it is, so it's already done. Album art's applied, the tags are there, and let's uh, let's just see if it'll play. I'm sure it should be fine. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully that's giving you some ideas how to make your tags go a little bit smoother without having to type in a lot of information because that uh, really, really slowed me down. So this is the fastest way I've found. Um, if you have some other ideas or if you found other programs, I'd appreciate you putting in the comments and maybe uh, there's even a faster way of doing it. Um, so thanks again for watching.